So our next guest is a warrior more used to a mythical world full of magic monsters and dragons. Yeah, it is of course Kieran View, the star of ITV's fantasy blockbuster series Beowulf, Beowulf. 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 Okay, based on the famous Anglo-Saxon poem that I think a lot of us studied at school. It's a classic story of good versus evil. We're going to be chatting to Kieran, who plays the role, the main role, warrior of Beowulf, in just a minute. But first, here, here he is in action. I don't like this place. Well, then go home. Face that lynch mob. It wasn't a mob. Just close friends and family of the dead man. The dead man you killed. There were two sides to every story. Why did you save me from them anyway? We all make mistakes. Ooh. We loved the first episodes. You did? In our house. I've got a 10 year old, an 8 year old, and, and a grown up boy as well. Is that and you? It, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. It must have been just the most brilliant to be charging around with swords and with capes and yeah. with horses. It was. I'm glad to hear your family loved it. Um, yeah, it was, for me, it was like a childhood dream, really, because, you know, you get to watch fantasy shows like this as a kid, and uh, it, it infected so much of my life, the TV that I watched as a child. What would that have, would that have been, like, Robin Hood and things like yeah, that? Yeah, Robin Hood and things like that, and, like, yeah. Monkey and all that kind uh, of those yes, crazy yes, action yes. shows that we watched. And, and, and actually, I, you know, I, it set me off in a world of, of, of sport. I was fencing by the time I was nine because now of all that stuff. Now, that you're a lad from Hartlepool, yeah. and you take up fencing. Yeah. That seems quite unusual to me. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, it was pretty unusual. Is there a big fencing community in Hartlepool? <laughs> <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people used to make jokes about creosotes and all sorts of things for years, but <laughs> I, I started because there was a, um, a local community centre where some guys had, had set up a small club and um, some other kids at school said, let's go and, you know, and, do, go and do some Three Musketeering stuff. So yeah. I, I did that and I, I went along and I, and, I, and I did the class and then I went back to school and told some other kids that I'd, we'd use two swords and we'd been jumping around, which was a total lie. It was just that that was really what I wanted to do. So and to be doing it now for a job is, is brilliant, yeah. Because it's a, it's a lavish production. I think they spent something like 17 million on it, haven't they? Actually? Yeah. It's a huge production. Yeah. And uh, immediately comparisons have been made with things like Game of Thrones. Um, but yeah, I think it's interesting that because this is much more fun. You couldn't let your kids watch Game of Thrones, could you? This no. is much more fun. And it did a more, as you say, the sort of history of things we watched on Saturday morning, like Flashing Blade was my favourite. Yeah. Those, <laughs> those incredible things that yeah. you used to watch. It's more in that mould, really, isn't it? It's not a fair yeah. comparison. Uh, no, I mean, those, I think those comparisons are inevitably going to be made. I mean, yeah. I mean Game of Thrones is, is the biggest show in the world right now, and, and we're all huge fans of it. But um, our show is made for a, a family audience. Yeah. And I've, I've done an awful lot of uh, TV and, and plays and things now that none of my nieces and nephews have been able to come and see, or, or my friends' kids. And actually to be able to make a show like this that is so inviting with the monsters, with the costumes, with the hair, that, that, that kids really want to see. You know, yeah. I've done other stuff where I've had sword fights, but it's been just too explicit for them to see any of it. Yes, so this quite. is great. Yeah, but, but, yeah. but neither of my boys nor I felt like there was any compromise. It didn't feel like we weren't no. getting a really mm -hmm. exciting, dramatic sword fight. And yeah. in fact, didn't at one point you took, a, you took quite a heavy punch and yeah. broke three ribs? Yeah, yeah, that was that was really early on in shooting, and, and I was I didn't there was there wasn't a sword in sight. I just <laughs> it was it was a long day's filming, and I went the wrong way slightly, and I got a whack in the chest. You know, some of the stuntmen we work with are very fit and strong. And, yes. and I, I got whack in the chest, and for a second I thought, I hope that's just winded, because it, otherwise it's going to really hurt. But it, it yeah, it was it, you know it, the next few weeks worth of, of filming were pretty tough. And you just had Aww. to keep going. Yeah, I mean, we, like we have a... Like Beowulf would have been swell. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, you use everything around you, like the weather and the pain, and the, uh, and, and you just get on with it. And, and it's funny, because, you know, when you break your ribs, you can't, you can't really do anything. No, you, you just strap them up, you just no. have to take painkillers and rest, and, and then hopefully not laugh and sneeze too much, which... Uh, which love that. Uh, so are you yeah, going to keep the beard and the hair? Um, yeah, it's all, yes, it's, it's mine. Model so zone. You, no. That's not stuck on. It is Beowulf. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. Kieran, lovely to see you. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very much. And best of luck Pleasure. for the rest of the series. Thank you.